In today's Wix tutorial, I will show you step by step how to create your own photography website. So whether you want to get your photographs out there, in order to get more potential customers for wedding photography, landscape photographs, or you just want to share your photographs as a hobby, this is the perfect tutorial for you. I'll show you how to set up a website from scratch, how to customize basically everything on your Wix website, and last but not least, how to optimize your website for SEO in order to get more visitors. So now let's get into it. First off, you want to make sure that you have a Wix account created. If you don't, just go over to Wix.com and create your own account. It's completely free and also quite easy to set up. Now once you've done that, simply go over to manage.wix.com slash account slash sites and go over to the create new site button. You'll then be sent over to a new page. And then Wix will ask you, what kind of website are you creating? Just go over or search for a photography portfolio or a store if you want to sell your photographs. In this case, I will go with photography portfolio and click on next. You can now go ahead and pick the website template you love. There's a lot of templates out there. So really take the time to look at this because this will be the fundamental basis of your website. So make sure to go with something that goes with the niche you're in. Now for me, I'll go back over to the first page and I'll go with this one right here. Now simply click on edit. By the way, if you want to view the template first, that's also possible. Simply click on view. You'll then be sent over to the view page where you can see how your website will look. For example, you can't scroll down right here, but you can go over to portfolio, portraits, places, fashion. And then you can simply click on there and you'll see all of this stuff. I think this is pretty good looking, so I'll just go with this like I already decided to. And once you're in the Wix editor, we can now go on and change the pictures. I will also show you how to change the text and how to add basically anything to your website. So things like a simple strip in which you can also, you know, include a picture. How to add images, text, buttons, galleries, anything. This will be a full tutorial. Now, for whatever reason, I forgot to explain how you can add a text. It's pretty simple. Just click on the text, then make sure to double click on it, and it will then turn blue because it's selected. And then just type in whatever you would like it to say, and that's basically all you need to do. So, I will just go with Lucasen. If you'd like to change the placing, that's also possible. And of course, you can also change the added text. You can make it bigger, make it bold make it italic you can also change the color right here so let's say that you're a brand and your brand colors are red black and white this is what you could do lucasen and then photography and red i will align this with lucasen once again and the placement should be right here you're also able to drag it as a whole however i think it's perfectly fine right here so now the first thing you actually want to do is to of course create your portfolio in this case, you can see that the portfolio is on the menu. So you want to go over to the switch page thing and go over to portfolio and then say places. Now I'm not a photographer myself. So in all honesty, I've just downloaded a few landscape pictures. So I will change the text right here. You can do that by clicking on edit text. Also, if you're not really creative or your creative mind just isn't working as you'd like it to, you can click on get text ideas. What type of site is this? Photograph, photography studio, that could be. And you'll then see a lot of what's the topic of this context. Let's say services, create text, and you'll then see random um, text ideas. However, in this case, I already know. Landscapes, press enter, that's not true. Just click anywhere outside of the text box and it will save itself. Now in order to change pictures on your website, click on any image and then click on manage media. You'll then need to wait a few seconds before Wix shows up the media installed on your website. You can now just simply select multiple or select all and delete any of the default pictures. So just click on delete and click on add media to add your own pictures. Upload images, you'll then see this pop up. You want to go over to upload media. Upload from computer or upload from any of the other services right here. For me, it's from my computer. And here are all my downloaded pictures. 
I'll just open all of them. And once they're all uploaded to your site files, simply press add gallery. Oh, I actually only selected one picture, so I will go back over to this menu and select all of the other ones. If you want to select multiple, you can do that by pressing Ctrl to, you know, select multiple images or unselect multiple images. Then press add to gallery once again. And here we do have all of our images. Now press done. And you'll see that all of the images are updated. If you'd like to change the order, that's of course possible. Simply click on manage media and drag them to a different order. Now I like this image very much. So this will be my first one. This will be my second one. This is the third one. And from here on out, I think the order is perfectly fine. So then you're going to click on done. And you'll see that once again, all of the pictures are updated. And depending on which theme you've chosen, your gallery might look different. For example, this is the Wix Pro Gallery. However, when you go over to the Add button, you're also able to see different kind of galleries. Simply go over to Gallery. You have the recommended galleries, which are quite basic. So if you're a photographer, you might want to go with something more unusual. For example, the slider, which I still think is quite basic. Right here you have the 3D carousel, which also looks pretty awesome. You have freestyle, which I really think is cool. I'm just going to add that to the bottom right here to show it off to you guys. So just drag and drop it onto your website. And you can then also always change the placing. Change images. Yes. Once again, we're going to delete them all. In this case, I will still be adding the same pictures. Um, that you of course can create or upload a new file. Now press done and what you have now is this thing right here which if you save the website and go over to the preview feature you can actually drag them. So let's give Wix some time to load. You can see right now we can just drag this inside of the freestyle box which you know is quite funny to do. It's it's a little more interactive than usual, so it will stand out. Now I'm going to go back to the editor. And if you want to change the size of the, the freestyle, you can do that too. So just click on the freestyle and you can make it larger, more wider. You can change the height, basically everything once again. Of course, now four pictures is a little bit on the low side. So make sure to think about how big you're going to make this. I'm just going to hit save. Autosave is on, however, I always like to make sure that, you know, I click on save manually sometimes too. So this is our landscape side. Of course, the same process goes for the portraits and the, I don't know what the other one was, the fashion. You can see right here, you have still the same thing. You can just change the images once again, which I won't do for the sake of this tutorial. However, what I also want to show you is that when you go over to the page selector, and click on manage pages you can then go over to for example places and click on the three dots right here now this is really important because you always want to make sure that your website is seo optimized if you're not sure which seo means it means search engine optimization so click on seo basics and you'll then see the seo basics pop-up now what's the url slug the last part of the url for this page for example, I don't have a premium domain connected to my website. If you want to learn how to do that, make sure to watch this video in the top right corner. So the slug for me is everything after lucasandtutorials.wixsite.com. And then you also have my site. So after my site, what do you want to have there? Places could be it. However, I'm going with landscape because that's what I'm showing on this website. Now just another thing you might want to do is to change the name of, um, you know, this website or I mean this page on my website. So now on the menu it also shows landscape instead of places. Go over to what's the page title. This will be in the search results. So when someone's searching for let's say landscape instead of landscape slash my site, it will say something more professional. So landscapes by... Lucasen Photography. I think I pronounce it a bit weird, so hopefully you guys don't mind that too much. Also make sure to give your page a meta description 
which is a description in the search results once again. Make sure to include keywords which people will search for when they're searching for landscape. For example, landscape all pictures are, and now the next keyword, 4K resolution and copyright free, which might not be the case for you, but you just want to include as many keywords as you possibly can right here. Now, when you click outside of the box, it will save once again, and you also want to make sure that you're going to do the SEO for all of the pages on your website. So are you really going to do that? Yes, you should, because this is going to increase the amount of visitors your website will get. Just think about it. If you're searching for portraits, will you click on portraits and then my site or on something like portraits by Lucasen photography and then a nice description, a nice but brief, a nice but brief description it should be. Now once you've done that for all of the pages on your website, which I haven't, the next thing you might want to do is to go over to your home page. So the page selector and then home and right here. You might want to change up the home page a little. Now you might want to add certain elements to your home page. So just go over to the add button and right here you can add anything that Wix has to offer. This can be either a short video, a YouTube video or any of these other options. Maybe you want to add the menu which I personally don't recommend because it's also on the horizontal menu. Also I forgot to tell this everything in the um, orange you know area right here is the horizontal menu which will be visible on all of the pages so if you make a change right here this will be visible for everything and every page so if you change anything in the horizontal menu that will be visible on all of the other pages too for example right now our name is not right here so what you could do is to edit the text click on it and make it say Lucasen. Now right now it gets cut off a little bit weird so what you can do is simply drag or yeah drag the edge to make it fit in better. You might also like to make the Lucas and Bolt once again. You can simply do that by pressing on Bolt and there you have it. Now remember I told you guys the header will be visible everywhere. The same goes for your footer. So right now it says some year which we're not in as of right now by and then someone's name so Lucasen, and then proudly created with wix you might want to remove that so i will do that and now the text is updated as well also if you have social media which probably you do have make sure to go over to add and then go over to social here you can add the social bar to your website make sure to click with make sure to go with one that fits in already for me this will be this one also if you don't like the pictures don't worry, you can simply click on it and then click on, I think it's set social link. And right here you can change the images as well. Or the icons, that's the word I was searching for. Replace icon, I don't have any better option so I won't do it. But you are able to change all of the icons. Also if you're not on, for example, Twitter, you can just remove the image and it will disappear from the social bar. The same goes for TikTok. And now what you want to do to actually link your social profiles is to click on some icon, for example Facebook, and then go over to what social page does this icon link to. Click on this icon right here and then paste in your own Facebook account link. Now when someone clicks on your Facebook icon, do you want it to open in a new window or in a current window? Now I'd recommend setting this on new window because if someone clicks on your Facebook icon, and they're getting sent over to Facebook in the same window. This will lead to the visitor time or the visiting time on your website to decrease. So make sure it's on new window and then press done. Advanced SEO settings, you can also go with this and then, and you might want to enable no follow. I actually don't think there's any reasons to do that. Advanced SEO settings, you can basically leave this on default. It's not the, it's nothing really important, so click on done now and click on done once again. And here you do have our social media bar. Now when you go over to any other page, you can still see that in the footer, our social media bar is visible. Now because the background is black, it also blends in, so you can't see it. You should decide yourself if that's a problem. You might want to change the color background 
if it is a problem for you and once again you can change all of the text and of course you can also change the pictures now as i showed you before you can basically add anything so this strip for example you can edit right here to once again change the strip background and you know add this image and now you have that right there then people can go down to selected clients and it's just changing the overall look of your website i'd recommend you play around with this for a little bit and if you want to move this up just click on it and drag it up as well and now i will show you what we have created i actually noticed one thing which i do want to change so i'm going to go back over to the editor i'd recommend all of you follow this please go over to the header click on the text or your logo and then make sure it's going to link to the original and then make sure it's having a link i don't know why but for whatever reason you can't link this text which i think is a bit weird i will just add a logo real quick for the i'll just add an image real quick for the example so go over to my uploads my image uploads click on that and upload a uh, file so your logo right now i'm uploading my channel icon to wix so i'm gonna add it to the page i'm gonna crop it a bit and put it inside of the header so now we have our logo what you want to do is to go over to this icon because you want to link your logo to the home page which all professional websites do have that then you want to click on page current window and which page you want to select or refer to it's the home page now click on done click on save and now what we have created is the professional logo inside of your header so on any page you can just click on the logo and you will be sent over to the home page as you guys can see this theme already comes with a lot of good looking animations for example the image pop up right here i will show it once again now this theme already comes with a lot of good looking animations for example when i go over to about you can see there's a lot of animations going on also when i scroll down the selected clients do have a pop-up and if you want to learn how to do that simply go back over to the editor click on the element and then click on the animation button this is filters it's animations this one now you might want to have a bounce in glide in there's really a lot of options to choose from you also have reveal which is the current one and you can also customize all of the animations you can change the settings to make it faster or slower you might want to add a delay and only animate first time i will also enable that simply once again click on save and you will now see that the animation is going to be a bit slower so preview and when you click on about you can see there's a delay and then it will show up so that's how to animate your website as well and i think i've pretty much covered it all also if you do have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments down below so i can help you out and i will happily give you an answer that's it for today's video if this was helpful let me know by leaving a like and consider subscribing for more full step-by-step -step tutorials on how to do things on your wix website see you next time